my channel. Today I have an exciting video. Ever since I got a Kindle, I have been obsessed with reading and I've read so many books. I cannot actually read a physical copy anymore because the convenience of having an e-reader is unbelievable. So I have been a Kindle girly through and through for more than a year now. There is a new player that just entered the market in the last few days. It's the Kobo Libra Color. This video is going to answer a few questions that you may have regarding if you should get it or not. I'm gonna give you my opinion, my first impression on this. I, I've read two books on this in the past week, so I feel like I kind of have my opinion. Let's go ahead, let's jump into it together and see if in the end, you should get one. Let's start by a comparison. The Kindle Basic has a six inch screen and weighed 174 gram, while the Kindle Paperwhite has a 6.8 inch screen and weighed 205 grams. Now the Kobo Libra Color has a seven inch screen and weighed around 200 grams. Only the Paperwhite and the Kobo Color are waterproof. The Kindle Basic is not. The Kindle Paperwhite is an e-ink carta display with no color, while the Kobo Libra Color is an e-ink Kaleido three color display. Now let's jump in the device that I got for this video and not just for this video but like oh my god the Kobo Libra color. This is comparable to the Kindle Oasis because it has physical buttons and it is also the kind of same size. The Oasis is a tad lighter. They are pretty much the same thing. They are waterproof which I love because I love reading in my bath, in my pool or at the beach but this one has Color. This is probably the reason why you've clicked this video wondering if you need color or not. I am so in love with my new device. I haven't reached out for my Kindles ever since I got it. I love the fact that on the first screen you don't have all of the Amazon store. It's really my books. I love the color. There are so many great book covers and the color makes it like it's another experience. Obviously, when you read, it's in black and white. If you're not reading any manga or cookbook, it's mostly black and white. Let's talk about the design. It's really easy to hold. It has a slim and lightweight design, making it comfortable to hold for long periods without feeling tired. And it also has a long battery life. I had the clear cover. I believe it's the first time that Kobo released any clear color case because they know that we love to put our stickers on the back. One thing that I didn't know that I would love as much as I do, actually I'm obsessed with, is the buttons. This brings my reading experience to another level. I also love the fact that it has auto rotation, so you can just turn it around to use the buttons and it works and you can even read it horizontally. It has colors. They definitely are not as intense as an iPhone, an iPad, and it's not meant to be. If you wanna read a book, with that much saturation and color contrast, then read it on your iPad or, or your iPhone. This is meant for that, and that's the reason why it doesn't bother me as much. Just keep in mind that it definitely isn't as uh, bright of colors as if you were reading on an iPad, and that's a great thing because one of the reasons why I personally love to have a knee reader is that it's easier on the eyes so that when you read at night, you don't have as much of blue light. And speaking of, it also has the option to have auto natural light features where it adapts with the brightness of your environment wherever you are reading. That is better for your reading experience, for your eyes and for your sleep in general. Another thing that I have been loving is the fact that I can use so many other type of books such as EPUB, PDF. It doesn't have to be a .mobi extension, so it makes it so much more easier to read whatever book that I have. I personally use the Google Drive that is in the Kobo to easily download my books on my Kobo device. It has been a game changer. I don't have to plug it in my computer anymore. There is also the Kobo store where you can buy your book just like you would do on Kindle. Now keep in mind that they don't have Kindle Unlimited. I know that there are some books that are only on Kindle Unlimited and unfortunately you won't be able to access these books through the Kobo store. So that will be a con if you are in love with the Kindle Unlimited subscription. I personally like it, but I also love the way that this 
seamlessly integrate with Google Drive, but also with Overdrive. I am Canadian, so getting books from my library is so, so, so easy with the Kobo because it's in side the device so i don't have to download it from another app and then import it on my device it's it's seamless and that's something that i have been loving with the kobo is the user experience it's so so easy i feel like it's foolproof device and you also have the dropbox feature if you don't use google drive didn't think that i would love it that much but once again, I have been pleasantly surprised. I haven't reached for my Kindle in the past week. So that says it all because my Kindle used to be glued to me and now I only carry this one around. You can also download audiobooks on this from the Kobo store. I personally listen to my audiobooks on my phone so that doesn't really impact me, but just so you know, you can listen to audiobooks with the Kobo. Speaking of the Kobo store, the price of a book is really similar to the price that you would get on Amazon. Another thing that I love from this Kobo is that now the uh, power on and off is right behind the device. I prefer this so much more. The paper white device at the power where you would hold your device. So I often touch it and close the book. There is a USB-C charging port so you can use chargers that you already own in your house. Now there is also another feature that I didn't know if I would like and I first didn't get this stylus when I picked up the Kobo. I never took note in my physical books because I'm someone who likes my books. I, I don't want it to look like someone read it. Didn't know if I would like it and when I first got my device I didn't purchase the stylus that came with it. But then there is this note taking that is included on the device and I love it very much. I love highlighting and annotating my book when I read them. And this stylus has a button here that you just press when you wanna highlight. If you don't press it, you just scribble or write notes. And on the back, you have the eraser when you wanna erase something. Thus far, it has worked wonderfully. The only thing to keep in mind is that you have to buy them separately. They don't come together. It's also really cool because even though I have the clear case, it still is magnetic and it's a good magnet. It doesn't fall. That's pretty cool. All in all, I would say I am so thrilled that I got this Kobo Libra color. This is my first Kobo device. Would I need the color if I had the Kobo Libra too? It depends. It depends on what you read. If you are someone who loves to read manga, magazine, then maybe it's worth it. Personally, I love to have the latest device when it comes to e-readers. I am very happy. You can ask my mom, I talk about my device every single day ever since I got it and I think that she's getting bored of me talking about it, even more so when I was doing all of my research for this video. I am so thrilled. I don't regret it at all. I don't reach for my Kindle anymore. I am going to sell them. I think it's truly worth it. It's the first e-reader that I have that is in color and thus far I have been loving it. I love to use the annotation. I like passages while I read. I love the note-taking features. I love the buttons and I'm pleasantly surprised um, how easy it is to use. It's not something that I have to learn again since I'm coming from Kindle. It's very user-friendly. The Google Drive connection, the Dropbox and the Overdrive connection is a dream to use. I think that it's, it is worth it. If you don't have any device, I would go for this one. If you already have something and you only read book and you don't care about color, then don't get it. But otherwise, I would do it again in a heartbeat. If you have any question whatsoever, please let me know down in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. Also, let me know what are you reading right now. I want to know what is on your TBR for this summer. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and myself as a content creator. If you are new, welcome. I'm so excited that you are here and I would love for you guys to follow me along into my YouTube journey. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys in my next one. Love you, bye.